Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. First off, and giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders and teachers at Great Millstone who rule well, teach well. It's Brother Yahweh Shai Zion just coming through with this message. Now, I just want to show appreciation to the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, for the creation that, you know, He has made. You know, show appreciation. And one, you know, brothers, for this knowledge, you know, first and foremost, for the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that's been given to us um, from the apostles of Great Millstone on down. And we have to be careful how we build upon that foundation because it's already been laid. So that's why uh, I'm going to do this and probably intertwine that lesson too. This is Psalm 104 and 1. Bless the Lord, Yahweh, O oh my soul, O oh Yahweh, my power. Thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty, who covereth thyself with light as with a garment, who stretcheth out the heavens like a curtain, who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who maketh his angels, which means messengers, spirits, his ministers a flame of fire, who laid the foundations of the earth that it should not be removed forever. So you got this doctrine of a guy, you know, guys talking about the earth, you know, the so-called Christians. It's going to be a new heaven and a new earth and they think it's going to be a brand new planet. You know, they're going off. <laughs> Very clearly, per the scripture, verse 6, Thou coverest it with the deep as with a garment. The water stood above the mountains. At thy rebuke they fled. At the voice of thy thunder they hast ha hasted away. They give, they go up to the by the mountains. They go down by the valleys unto the place which thou hast founded for them. Thou hast set a bound that they may not pass over, that they turn not again to cover the earth. See, this is the majesty, brothers, we're involved in. You know, we have herbs of the field of the earth through our service and labor of planting and you know, reaping what we sow in the earth, which is made to heal the body. You know, for instance, there's a, you know, Irish sea moss and something called bladder rack, <clears throat> which is very good for the body. Good for um, um, uh, men specifically too, and, and women, you know, but men as well, uh, to bring forth children. Verse 11 it's like in verse 10 he sendeth the springs into the valleys which run among, run among the hills they give drink to every beast of the field the wild donkeys quench their thirst by them shall the fowls of the heaven have their habitation which sing among the branches he watereth the hills from his chambers the earth is satisfied with the fruit of thy works. Right, that's the product of the Lord's works. You know, we're enjoying the fruits of the Lord's production. This is why you got to give glory, honor, praises to the Most High, man. And to preach the scriptures as a reasonable service, as we're commanded. You know, and show an appreciation towards that. An appreciation towards the knowledge. An appreciation towards the things that we've been given, the bodies we've been given, you know, the women that love us, you know, uh, all of that, man, and especially the women that love us. <laughs> but, you know, our health is everything, brothers, you know, and our, our strength and foundation of life, which comes from the Lord, Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh and the knowledge, because our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, you see? This is verse number 14. He calls up the grass to grow for the cattle, the herb for the service of man.
that he may bring forth food out of the earth. See, like, you gotta show appreciation for that. That's why it's a reasonable service, man, to, you know, want to thank the Lord Yahweh Shemir by going out and, and preaching the scriptures and also, you know, presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice, man. You know, going on fasts, praying to the Lord, uh, spiritual cleanses. You know, it's the new moon uh, coming up. And, you know, this is a new beginning, a new start, a fresh month. And for what a Yahweh for Lord willing, being able to see another month, you know, and to enjoy that, you know, in, in the Lord, you know, because life really wasn't life before knowing the Lord, man. You know, that was just existing, to be honest. It was like, what's going to come next? But now, when you're in the Lord, Yahweh you realize, no matter what comes your way, the Lord will always provide a way of escape for you. Because he set these things before the foundation of the earth was laid. The elect was already sealed before the, you know, before the beginning, pretty much. Or pretty much picked, rather. But they will be sealed when the scriptures are, are fulfilled that, you know, the, the gospel goes out to the four corners of the earth. You know, but the story's been written and they, in the spirit, have been sealed from the beginning. They've been chosen, rather, I should say. Because <clears throat> it will come to pass. It's all in the Lord's time. You know. It says, verse 15, it says, And wine that maketh glad the heart of man, and oil to make his face to shine, and bread which strengtheneth man's heart. Yeah, the trees of the Lord Yahweh are full of sap. The cedars of Lebanon, which he hath planted. See, that's 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 absolutely beautiful, man. You see, we we just have a reason to praise the Lord right then and there. Okay. It says where the birds make their nests, as for the stork, the fir trees are their house. The high hills are the refuge of the wild goats and the rocks for the conies. He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knoweth is going down. And guess what? It's the new moon coming up. So it's a brand new month tonight at sundown. And for what for that knowledge. And to know that there's a spiritual reflect time point of reflection right there, man. You got to reflect and you have to re-examine and uh, examine yourself. And it's also signs of new beginnings, fresh starts. Okay. Uh, it says, thou makest darkness and it is night wherein all the beasts of the forest do creep forth. The young lions roar after their prey and seek their meat from the heavenly father. The sun ariseth, they gather themselves together and lay them down in their dens. Man goeth forth unto his work and to his labor until the evening. See, so a lot of people, we're not supposed to be working these night shifts and stuff like that, man. You know, the earth is out of balance now in Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. <clears throat> you know, they got us working these night shifts and, you know, even past the evening when technically we're not supposed to be out there like that you know it's really we were supposed to be working outside you know being, being planters eating from fruit you know but this uh, the way things are now is completely out of course but nonetheless we praise the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shai man okay oh, 24 oh Yahweh my, how manifold are thy works in wisdom hast thou made them all the earth is full of thy riches now understand something it's the Lord's riches you know we're on borrowed time borrowed spirit he gave us the spirit he allowed us the power to bring forth uh, children and to put the spirit of the Lord inside of them you know through through uh our lineage and that spirit belongs on to the Lord and then we it's up to us also 
to give them the Holy Spirit, which ultimately is from the Lord. But we're the ones who are supposed to teach our children, man. Okay? Verse 25. So is this great and wide sea, wherein are things creeping innumerable, both small and great beasts. There go the ships. There is that Leviathan whom thou hast made to play therein. These wait all upon thee, that thou mayest give them their meat in due season. That's right. And that's applied across the board. The Lord closed the, the beasts of the field, or Salaki, the, um, the lilies of the field, or the grass of the field, rather. I forgot what go. And also, <clears throat> also um, feedeth the birds, man. He gives the birds their their food man and they don't even labor or toil and really everything is in due season Aki. all right and that's again you know uh, i don't want to intertwine the, the two subjects i'm just going to stay on this subject i was going to go into something else but the spirit just wills to praise the lord right now man and, and, and thank him greatly okay verse 28 that thou givest them, they gather, thou openest thine hand, they are filled with good. See, that's absolutely beautiful, man. And when it's over, it's over. When the Lord says it's time, it's time. Verse 29, thou hidest thy face, they are troubled. It says, thou takest away their breath, they die and return to their dust. Thou sendest forth thy spirit, they are created and thou renewest the face of the earth and that's beautiful because those they say you had a pet like a dog or a cat um they died but they'll be renewed as you know brand new you know stronger again you know the beast of the field their spirit returns back to the earth but the man pursuant to ecclesiastes 12 and 7 our spirit returns back to the heavenly father man you know we're on a new level we're on a brand new level so I was talking to Brother Kassad about my cat. How I moved her food dish, you know, after like years of feeding her in one spot. And she goes to beg for the food and to ask for more food in the same spot where she used to be fed. Instead of the corner where I moved it. And she knows where it is, but she's still begging in that spot. Because she can't put things together like a human, you know. She doesn't have understanding. So the water for the Lord and, you know, <clears throat> the Lord rejoices in us as well as we praise him and thank him for this. Verse 31, it says, the glory of the Lord Yahweh shall endure forever. The Lord Yahweh shall rejoice in his works. He looketh on the earth and it trembleth. He toucheth the hills and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord Yahweh as long as I live. I will sing praise to my power while I have my being. My meditation of him shall be sweet. I will be glad in the Lord Yahweh. See? Absolutely beautiful, man. And to understand this last verse to wrap it up, let the sinners be consumed out of the earth and let the wicked be no more. Blessed thou O Yahweh, bless thou Yahweh, O my soul. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh. Okay. So, hey, man, that's, that's beautiful right there. Nothing needs more to be stated. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for you, Akim, and the brothers, and the knowledge, and the truth, and the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. You know, double honors and the water Yahweh Bashmi Shai for this knowledge and this wonderful uh, experience, you know, called life, you know, in the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Shai, you know, the beloved son Yahweh Shai of the Most High Yahweh. And right, with that, I'm going to say Shalom. Peace be unto you.